Industry often prides itself on being on the cutting edge, developing high-tech solutions and looking towards the future. And Southern California Edison is no exception. We work hard at developing alternative means of producing power. Most new product development means the old becomes obsolete. But Edison still serves its customers well with an age-old, tried-and-true technology, hydropower. Located in the Sierra Nevada mountains of Eastern California, between Yosemite and Sequoia National Parks, is the Edison Big Creek Hydroelectric Facility. A system of six man-made lakes, 14 dams, and eight powerhouses, all interconnected. Since the early 1900s, it has taken the yearly runoff from melting snows and used it to provide Southern California with electricity. Today, this system provides enough power to meet the electricity needs of nearly one million Southern Californians. Back at the turn of the century, none of the Edison Lakes existed, and the backcountry water just ran its course unfettered into the valleys below. But one man had a powerful vision. He dreamed of interconnected lakes and dams to convert the rushing waters into electricity for people miles away. The visionary was John Eastwood, engineer and outdoorsman. In the 1890s, Eastwood perfected his master plan during long, solitary horseback trips into the Sierras. He was looking for a site where he could realize his vision and he found it at Big Creek. Here he mapped out the present hydroelectric system almost exactly as we know it today. Back in Los Angeles, another big thinker, Henry T. Huntington, heard of Eastwood's dream. Huntington had the money to make things happen, and he hired Eastwood to develop construction plans for a Big Creek hydroelectric system. However, when Huntington began actual construction of the system in 1910, he did not involve Eastwood, reasoning that a dreamer can't always get a project built. Such heartbreak is the material of which legends are born, and Big Creek has always been legendary. In scope, it rivaled the building of the Panama Canal, and men with adventure in their hearts converged on the remote project. Gertrude Parker's father ran the Big Creek Hotel, where she grew up watching history being built. One night we were at the old hotel and this man came to eat. My sister and I were playing with our dolls and he asked us if we had a, ho a home to put them in or a house. And we said no. And the next time, of course, he was snowed in all winter. And the next time he came out in the spring of the year, here he came with this dollhouse, all made out of the pine cones the tips of the pine cones was the roof, and the bark was the whole house. Took over a thousand pins where he had the uh, pine cones pinned to the top. Who had ever thought a man would make us a dollhouse? At the height of construction, over 5,000 men worked the isolated project. Anything they needed had to be built for them. So in 1912, Huntington spent over $1 million to build his own 56-mile railroad to bring supplies to the working men. Called the San Joaquin and Eastern, the SJ&E, but nicknamed the slow, jerky, and expensive, the railroad was built in a record 157 days and had 1,100 curves. Today, the railroad is gone, but the mountain curves remain.
One of Big Creek's most expensive projects was the drilling of Ward Tunnel through Kaiser Ridge. Ward Tunnel is the cornerstone of the Big Creek project, diverting water from the backcountry lakes and streams to the powerhouses on the western mountain slopes. The 13 and one half mile long tunnel took 2,000 men five years to complete. They did so thanks to the nourishment of over four million eggs, one million pounds of flour, and two million pounds of fresh meat. It was truly a project of superlatives. When initial construction of Big Creek ended in 1929, nearly a half million people in Los Angeles County were powered from a remote and wild area over 200 miles away. Big Creek generates electricity as Eastwood had originally envisioned by carefully using and reusing all available water, making it the hardest working water in the world. The first step in this process is knowing how much water will come from each year's winter snows. Every spring, Edison crews measure the High Sierra snowpack. This snow runoff enters the six Big Creek lakes and eventually drops over 6,000 feet as it works its way through the eight Big Creek powerhouses. From Edison and Florence lakes, the highest in the system, the water flows to Huntington and Shaver lakes. And then to an afterbay where it joins water coming from Mammoth Pool. Finally, the water travels into Redinger Lake. On any one day, the lakes can hold enough water to serve 500,000 households for a year. Whenever water is needed for power, it is drawn from the bottom of a dam and travels through pipes and tunnels called penstocks. The downward rushing water enters the powerhouses and then... And then electricity is made. After traveling through the whole series of lakes and turbines, the liquid fuel finally leaves the Big Creek system and then works once more in yet another way, irrigating the abundant crops of the San Joaquin Valley. Edison uses the Sierra Nevada to make electricity. And in return, Edison has made a mountain playground. In addition to opening the six lakes to the public, Edison has created a public campground, Camp Edison. Each year, roughly 15,000 campers use its 150 campsites. And to keep anglers happy, Edison puts about 60,000 trout into Big Creek's lakes and streams each year. The trout are born and raised at Edison's trout farm near powerhouse number one. Once the fish are released into the mountain streams and lakes, they are free to find their true destiny. Edison looks after life on land as well as in water. Through its land management program, Edison runs a tree farm where seedlings are grown that will later be planted to keep forests full. John Mount heads the Edison land management program. By logging the area, we actually create wildlife habitat. The openings that are created, the uh, snags, dead trees that are left, uh, help maintain all of the species of wildlife on our forest. The, this means the small birds and animals as well as the so-called endangered species. 
Built at the turn of the century, the Big Creek system is still growing. Today, Edison is working to get even more use from the available water. Construction is underway at the Balsam Meadow site to enlarge Big Creek's generating capacity. Here, a new powerhouse is being built 1,000 feet under the ground. And still other expansion is planned so that the already hard-working water will soon be working even harder for the people of Southern California. 